damn it, where are my fucking glasses? Oh, here they are. Are these the right ones? Yes, yes. All right, back on track here. So, hi guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in the Catskill Mountains, this unbelievably beautiful postcard perfect today in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Wednesday, <coughs> somewhere around June 26, 2019. I can't keep track of the days anymore like it makes a fucking bit of difference what day it is uh, anymore. Good Lord. Uh, but anyway, I need to get out there and enjoy this gorgeous day before the monsoons return here in the Catskills. And uh, so, oh yes, before I uh, dive in to today's rambling rant, I have two thank yous to send out to kind tribes members who have found it in their hearts and wallets to support the work that I do here on YouTube on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles. I want to thank, I don't know if his brother or sister, E. Peck, E. Peck, for the kind GoFundMe uh, donation to keep this show on the road. And you may recognize this name, Marty Knudsen. Marty Knudsen for his very kind latest contribution to my PayPal account. Uh, and if once again I want to send from the bottom of my little ham bone heart, and I'm sure Sancho Panza agrees, anybody who has ever found it in their hearts and wallets to ever send a donation my way. We really, really appreciate it. And with that kind, with that uh, kind, with that pleasant task out of the way, I want to figure out what I'm going to talk about today. So what I was going to do, it's been a long time since I've done a clueless moron roundup rant in the mainstream media, and today is no exception. So I actually had five stories, but I only have the stomach to get through the first one, and then we're going to move on to some intelligent comments. This is Britney Spears rolls in the sand and shows off her bikini bod <coughs> on her Caribbean vacation. Yes. This is one of the top news stories on a burning, collapsing planet. Britney Spears is looking as unbothered as ever in her recent Instagram post <coughs> documenting her recent island vacation. Yes. <coughs> you know, guys, I have not coughed one time since I woke up this morning. Not one cough. I, you know, <coughs> it's just, uh, I just don't get it. Anyway, <coughs> beginning on Saturday, Spears posted a series of photos and videos showing her lounging in a bikini on a tropical beach. Yes. According to reports in People magazine, the 37-year-old star is vacationing in the Caribbean. Let's hear one quote from Britney Spears. I love this. Rising in the AM of the morning. Rising in the a.m. of the morning. What the fuck is the a.m. of the morning? Oh, Jesus, we're so fucked. Quote, rising in the a.m. of the morning, 
I am about to go snorkeling and hopefully I don't find any sharks and uh, if you want to know how many likes that got on Instagram <clears throat> if your guess was 435,776 little heart love you Brittany uh, upvotes for Brittany going snorkeling in the a.m. of the morning give you uh, yourself a gold star and I was going to go from there from that story if you enjoyed that story perhaps what to read next Kylie Jenner talked about quote how rich she is at the Met Gala I bet Kylie talked about how rich she is at the Met Gala because uh, that's all she ever talks about. God damn it, I'm pulling another tick off this dog. I just spent $39 on these little drops that are supposed to last 30 days. I pulled two ticks off of me yesterday. This is the second tick off of uh, Sancho. Anyway, I'm sure we will have some future stories about that. But anyway, guys, I did not have the stomach for Kylie Jenner talking about how rich she is at the Met Gala. So I said, fuck this. And I went over to my own channel on YouTube where I found, you know, I'm always surprised. I never know which rants of mine are, are going to get the most intelligent comments. I, uh, <clears throat> I just kind of did this little rant driving around yesterday. I think it's called something like a depressed collapsitarian races Mad Max to the grave in photo finish. And, uh, all sorts of intelligent comments coming in uh, from that story, from that rant. This is Field and Stream. Field and Stream is a fairly new tribes member. This is sister Field and Stream. So what does she have to say about all this? <clears throat> we need to practice by shutting the grid down and not driving our cars for a few days. Yes, we need to get suicide kits so we don't get raped, murdered, tortured, or slowly starve. No one I know wants to believe it, wants to talk about it, or wants to prepare for it. I am trapped in the bottomless pit of hell surrounded by zombies. Yes, I am trapped in the bottomless pit of hell, surrounded by zombies. Thank you, Field and Stream. And Jay Savick, Hambone, I hope that you managed to make it out of this world alive. Nick says, things are speeding up towards disaster day by day now. I can feel it in the air see it on the news, and can hear it in the supermarket, even. Yes. Uh, here is Bill Smith. Quote, I guess he quoting me, looking for strangers to give me money. Hambone. And my response to Bill Smith is, I think the quote, the Hambone quote is, quote, I really appreciate anybody who has ever found it in their hearts and wallets to support the work I do on YouTube, close quote. Obviously, this straightforward token of gratitude does not apply to you, you cheapskate fucking Parasite Troll, go fuck yourself. Thank you, Bill Smith, for misquoting me. 
imagine being misquoted on my own channel. All right, let's see. What does Richard Smith have to say? Uh, well said, there are so many experts to choose from. Yes, there are. Uh, David Aspinall weighing in. Yes, we are truly in a state of eco limbo. Yes, and camping lore, what you do when you've got no plan is collect wood and carry water. I think that chop wood, carry water is also the, uh, that Buddhist maxim. Holy Nixon, I don't always agree with my buddy Holy Nixon. What does Holy have to say? What the hell are we going to do with this? We are going to wait and see. Personally, I hope it, meaning the Blue Ocean event, is going to be 2022 or even earlier, as I don't have much time left, and I want a front row seat when the collapse happens. And that's exactly what you're getting, brother. Jerry Altum. Jerry Altum, I do have a tranny. Uh, Jerry says uh, that, that she is probably the only tranny on planet Earth uh, subscribing to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. This is what Jerry has to say. Brother, I believe we will have our first Blue Ocean event this summer. My response to Jerry for that comment did Jonathan Bamber tell me yesterday, this is a climatologist I interviewed yesterday, did Jonathan Bamber tell me yesterday that there were one million or four million square kilometers of ice in the Arctic Ocean right now? Divide either, either of those numbers by 90 and see if you want to rescind that statement. Assuming one million kilometers and 100 days you know, of melting before summer's end, you would be talking 10,000 square kilometers of ice melting every day this summer. All right, my good friend from right outside of Garfield, Texas, Nelson El Ambra, is starting off his long response with a Bob Dylan uh, quote. The highway is for gamblers, better use your sense. Take what you have gathered from coincidence, which of course is uh, from his song, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. <clears throat> Take it away, Nelson. Hambone nailed it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The climate system has been shocked out of equilibrium by the unfortunate cumulative antics of a species endowed with opposable thumbs and a brain big enough to generalize and innovate. Complex systems out of equilibrium behave chaotically both in the mathematical and the descriptive sense of the word. Uh, I need to move on. He's talking about, uh, you know, scientists making statements. Uh, that statement could be expected to be true in the normal world. The problem is the world's systems no longer behave normally. Yes, and that is why nobody knows, and that is why Dylan's line above ranks among the most valid ways to proceed from here on out. And as long as we were talking Dylan lines, my response to Nelson is, I think my favorite Dylan line of all times 
not counting the line from the Super Bowl Chrysler commercial, quote, is anything more American than America. So not counting that one, my favorite line would have to be, quote, the cops don't need you and man, they expect the same, close quote. That is one prediction that will soon be playing out as Mad Max ramps up. But of course, there is always, you know, from Maggie's farm, quote, they say, sing why you slave, and I just get bored. Yes, sing while you slave. There you go. Uh, anyway, well, that is Groot, that I, and I'm skipping ahead of a lot of these. Uh, what does Groot have to say about this? In my opinion, the only thing that has changed in the last decade, a decade ago, not many of us believed we would see the House of Cards go into motion in our lifetimes. Today, most of us think we will see it. Yes. Uh, have a long comment by Zinkseb Zinkseb. No scientist can say with complete certainty when global warming will start to cause human extinction, but when someone is nearing 60 and is looking to make a huge life change by settling down in a new home, they better pick their place with the intention of growing old in it. Yes. I'm not sure what Andre means by his comment but I like it. Split it down the middle and subtract 20. Split it down the middle and subtract 20 way past what the fuck. Yes, we are way past what the fuck. Uh, anyway, oops, I'm sorry, that wasn't, uh, it, let's see, what does Sandy, what does Sister Sandy have to say about uh, all of this? <clears throat> it has been crashing down on me for 16 years. I have another five before I am broke, and then I don't really give a shit. Yes. What does Peter Bergs have to say? You're so good at expressing the bewilderment us doomers are manifesting. Bravo. Anabolic amaranth. This lucky man has a 22 year old girl helping him in his garden. Amaranth, uh, what the hell are you doing? I have never had a 22-year-old girl help me in my garden since the day I was born. A neighbor girl has been helping me in the garden, and she is 22. She doesn't sound too optimistic about the state of the world. <clears throat> yes, Anthony Davis, being with your dog is paradise in any location, right? There you go. Your life is your devotion to your message. Yes. What is Chris at the Natural Progressive? What does she have to say about this? This is hitting me hard recently. I was so looking forward to retirement and living for me, going through life like nothing is wrong. Well, wrong, I guess Chris is not going to be joining Britney Spears 
rolling around in the sand in her bikini. Yes, Dava Goon. I wish I could undo my awareness of it. I have no plan or desire to stockpile food and water beyond a couple of weeks, and I am unwilling to stick around if things get hellish. Mindfulness meditation helps retaining a sense of humor and being old. Damn, I'm sorry. I wish I could be more helpful. I feel like a jerk. Yes. Uh, so, Susan Morell is advising me to think about something else every now and then. Yes. Uh, now, Jack Gray with six thumbs up what was just talking about that this James Anderson <clears throat> he, he just corrected me that that jam that James Anderson is not talking well I don't know I, I need to interview James Anderson and get some clarification on on what he was talking about last week uh, he is talking about by the end of of 22 there will be no old permanent ice left in the arctic ocean that there but there will be some ice you know annual ice freezing up in the winter uh anyway we'll have to get james anderson on the show but anyway guys i need to uh to wrap this up uh, oh, we have a brand new comment just coming in uh, from Green Lampshade. Temporary blue ocean event in three years is like mimosas with friends at Sunday brunch. Permanent blue ocean event in 20 years now that is a fucking party yes we shall see about the party but right now uh before i head out into this beautiful day this little dog is saying pop we need to get out of this trailer and head off i'm gonna I think I'm going to change shirts over to Collapse Chronicles and look at yet another story that uh, Lieutenant Aaron Bartman sent me from the from the uh, the Guardian, although it's just reprinted from Reuters News, this very same story right here on the mainstream media, right, uh, I can't remember whether this story was above or below Britney Spears rolls around in the sand. Uh, it was right around, you know, the same level of importance according to the Yahoo News editors climate apartheid UN expert says human rights may not survive yes as the right to life is likely to be undermined alongside the rule of law yes uh, this is certainly a, a no-brainer for the collapse of global industrial civilization so come over to collapse chronicles if you want to hear about that but you probably want to go on and listen to uh, uh, Kim Kardashian uh, whoever that was talking about how rich she is
<sighs> get out there and enjoy this gorgeous day. Not one cap trail in sight. Bye, guys.